Let's talk about OCDs. This is Grant Garcia here, one of the cartilage surgeons at Orthopedic Specialist of Seattle. Uh, so this is a topic that I get asked a lot about because it's more of a niche topic um, and less people see uh, patients that have this issue, but it is more common than you think. Um, so an OCD or osteochondritis desiccans is where there's an area or a small piece of bone and cartilage that either is separate from the rest of the knee and just holding on, or is at least a partial unit. Um, and that can be asymptomatic to symptomatic. It generally occurs in younger patients, about 10 to 18 years old, but we can diagnose it all the way up into the 50s and 60s and is a common cause of cartilage damage in the knee. Um, the thing about this is uh, that it generally occurs when the growth plates are still open and when we, if we are to take from a surgical approach, they tend to be a little bit better results when we do it when the growth plates are open. Um, that being said, sometimes we, we don't diagnose it till after they're closed. Uh, generally, it's thought to be a vascular issue, so an issue with the blood supply to the cartilage, and then it sort of separates and it lives on its own for a while, or it can actually completely separate, which is one of the things we'll discuss. Um, it's most commonly found in the knee, also second elbow, and followed by the ankle. Uh, generally, we find these on x-rays or patients can come in saying they have pain, and eventually they get imaging that diagnoses it. In more extreme circumstances, this piece of bone and cartilage will break off and be floating in the knee. And that's sort of on the most extreme, and those patients obviously need surgery more promptly. Um, but there's definitely a lot larger variation of patients that are asymptomatic that get diagnosed with it by accident, or patients that have this, but the idea is to try to hold off on surgery.